Hi everyone. In the present video, we will be discussing about what is GMX MMP BSA, what are the different features and advantages of this program, how to install it, what are the different modules of MMP BSA, and how to analyze the results using the graphical user interface given by the developers in the MMP BSA program. So, MMP BSA is a post processing end state method to calculate free energies of molecules in solution. It is a program written in Python to perform free energy calculations using the ensembles derived from molecular dynamics or Monte Carlo simulations. It uh, uses implicit solvation models like Poisson-Boltzmann, generalized Born model and reference interaction site model. You can calculate the specific interactions like alanine scanning and free energy decomposition also using this MMPVSA. And we can also calculate vibrational frequency uh, using N mode or quasi harmonic analysis to approximate solvent entropy. That means this program offers uh, several advantages. That means we have the advantage of performing mini calculations using this MMPBSA program. So the different advantages are it is a new tool which is based on Amber's MMPBSA.py that is the Python to perform end state free energy calculations. It works with all the Gromax versions along with Amber Tools 20 or 21. It has increased compatibility, versatility, analysis and parallelization compared to the existing programs. You can also uh, use parallel implementation so as to speed up the calculations by dividing the frames evenly across the processors. So it is a very user friendly program to perform all the free and end state free energy calculations. Now what are the different modules of GMX MMPBSA? So it has three different modules. The basic module is the MMPBSA and Another module is the MMPBS underscore ANA and test. So the GMX MMPBSA is the fundamental application uh, where it carries out all the calculations that I have mentioned just now like the decomposition analysis, alanine scanning or free energy decomposition. So all these calculations are carried out by this fundamental application known as GMX MMPBSA. And MMPBSA underscore ANA is a graphical user interface where you can analyze the results so the calculations which you have performed you get the outputs and these outputs they can be uh, visualized using this e graphical user interface wherein you can save the different file formats the figures generated by performing these calculations and you have a third module known as mmpbsa underscore test it is a test installation module. So this program helps uh, to understand whether the program has been successfully installed on your system. Now coming to the installation. So for the installation of MMPBSA, we need Gromax to be already installed in your system. It can be series 4.x or 5.x or the 2000x series. And then we need Amber Tools 20 or 21 and python 3 so these three softwares must be already present in your system for installation of this gmx mmpbsa next uh, this GM, uh, gmx mmpbsa can be installed in two ways one is using the conda environment and another one is using the amber tools compilation now by using the conda environment you can install different versions of this MMPBSA in isolated environments, thus reducing the incompatibility with other packages. And it does not require compilation of Amber tools or Gromax. So this is the advantage uh, you get by using Conda environment to install this program. So these are the uh, command lines wherein you can install uh, this MMPBSA program using the Conda environment and these commands are available on the home page of this GMX MMPBSA website. You can copy them from there and you can install your program. 
and sometimes you need some extra dependencies to install this package uh, this package is required if you are not installing the uh, program using conda environment and using other softwares to install this then you may need this extra dependencies like parmedi the pip module the git module and the mpi module so in some cases if you are installing uh, using mini conda which is created in amber tools it does not have a pip module so in that case you need to install the pip module additionally and the git module is required to be installed whenever the user uh, wants to uh, down uh, install the mmpb as a test module so this helps in downloading the github repository to get the examples folder or to install the development version and the mpi module uh, sometimes it is required and if you are installing using conda it is not required to install separately this mpi module next uh, coming to the second method of installation of mmpbsa this is using amber tools compilation so whenever if you want to install using this amber tools compilation it requires compilation of gromax and amber tools and it also requires the installed packages to be compatible with this amber tools and sometimes installation errors may arise so you need to be careful whenever you are using uh, amber tools compilation now coming to the general workflow of the mmpbsa program so there are three steps first is the preparation next calculation and analysis so in the preparation stage uh, it involves the generation of topologies and trajectories and different uh, mutants for alanine and glycine scanning generation of the mutants and in com uh, in uh, decomposition analysis it requires uh, generation of the list of interacting residues and in the calculation stage the estimation of free binding free energy or the entropy using the selected model system and in the analysis we can analyze the results using the graphical user interface mmpbsa underscore n so the uh, what are the force fields involved in this program so this gmx mmpbsa it supports amber opls and charmem force fields and it also supports gromax with pdb2 gmx or charmem gui it also supports namd software that uses psf and dcd files so these files also can be processed using this mmpbsa program now coming to the input files so what are the different input files required for this mmpbsa program in order to calculate these ca calculations first one is the input parameter file which is having an extension of dot in and then md structure and mass db file having an extension dot tpr and dot pdb next an index file the receptor and ligand groups the trajectory file so the trajectory files have the extensions .xtc, pdb and trr and the topology file .tvop it is an optional file now coming to when we generate the different files though the force fields are similar but the topologies generated by the force fields are different so when amber force field is used the compatibility the compatible topology files can be generated using gromax topologies or structures when charmem force field is used ambus topologies are generated from gromax topologies exclusively so this table shows so whenever you are choosing these two different uh, force fields whether it is amber or charmem so what are the different files required the structure file index trajectory topology reference structure and small molecule mol2 files so here uh, the first three columns are similar for both the force fields the difference arises in case of topology so when it comes to topology if you are selecting amber force field the topology file is optional but in case of charmem force field the topology file is always required and when coming to the reference structure it is optional for both the force fields 
and for the mole 2 file if you are choosing amber force field it is required only if the topology file is not defined and charm m force field does not require the mole 2 file now coming to the different input files so this slide explains the uh, different input files that we are giving for the mmpbsa program so the different topology files that are required the md structure and mass db file they are used to generate the structure in pdb format of the complex with edit conf or trj con dot tpr that is the production format it is recommended and the index files they contain each element contained in the tpr file they are organized as groups this file is required for definition of the groups corresponding to the receptor and the ligand the trajectory files they have an extension of xtc trr and pdb file and next the topology file this topology file contains the parameters corresponding to the force field selected during the system setup in gromax topology parmed is used for topology conversion or else in systems containing elements that have been parameterized independently or that don't appear in standard force field so you need to mention this topology file separately when the uh, ligands don't appear when the topologies of the ligands don't appear in the standard force field then you need to mention the topology file separately and in amber force field you can consider topology file is required or not in charm m force field the topology is always required now coming to the reference structure it corresponds to the pdb file format that contains the complete structure this reference structure is optional but it recommend it is recommended for smooth processing of the files in the gmx mm pbsa so the reference structure should contain the same number of atoms and residues as the complex that initially is defined and it should have the correct residue numbering as well as the chain id the objective of the reference structure is to be able to correctly assign the mentioned parameters and the small molecule parameter small to file so this file contains ligand parameterization with anti chamber that is not found in selected force field that is amber family and it is required when studying a system where topology has not been defined and it is used to build amber topology for structure using t leap now what are the different steps to generate topology in gmx mm pbsa so we need a we need to generate a new index and register the groups defined by the user that is an index file is required and the groups which are defined by the user are need to be registered and then we need to generate a pdb file of the complex the receptor and ligand and the topology must be clean that means the water and ions have to be removed and in in case of alanine scanning mutant of the complex and mutant receptor ligand are generated in case of decomposition analysis the interaction residues are extracted then the complex is mapped registered continuity of the receptor for example if in case of a metalloprotein structure the files are structured as receptor protein plus ligand plus receptor ions then the pb red i are assigned then the topologies are converted with parmed or generated with t leap now uh, let's come to protein ligand free energy calculations using single trajectory method so in the single trajectory approximation uh, the trajectories will be obtained from the complex so for the receptor and ligand trajectories will be obtained from the complex uh, trajectory file in this the ligand mole to file must be in the anti chamber output so once we have all the files till now discussed so all these files must be placed in a single folder then the command line will be as follows so this is the command line now i will be in the next slide we will see specifically each command so the input file is the mmpbsa.in so first we have to give the command gmx_mmpbsa then the input file that is mmpbsa.in 
this contains all the parameters that are needed for the MMPBS calculation. Next, the com.tpr file is the MD structure plus mass TB file, and then the index file, and then the trajectory file, and 1 and 13 are the receptor and ligand group numbers in the index file. They are also necessary, and ligand mold to file for generating ligand topology. The EVO flag forces the file name to end in CSV file. That is the output format, uh, the output results which are generated. They will be uh, added into this file name called final results underscore mmpbsa.csv. If we give this EVO flag only, if this EVO is not mentioned in the command line, then the results will not be output into this CSV file. So we have to be careful when we are giving this command line. So when you are giving this EVO flag, then the output will be given to this final results mmpbsa.csv file. And once the calculation is done, the results can be analyzed using gmx mmpbsa underscore n. This is the graphical user interface of the gmx mmpbsa underscore n. So the window appears as given in this display picture. So you have the different panels 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So uh, in this uh, graphical user interface, we have four different uh, modules, system selection window, data correlation panel, options panel and menus. So in the system selection window, you can select whether you want to include the mutants, the normal or both systems when, an uh, when analyzing alanine scanning results. And then you can delete the terms for values which are having values between minus not one and plus not one. You can show or hide the decomposition analysis which contains a lot of data. You can transform the frames range to time scale. You can also calculate the correlation between various system and the advantage is you can carry out the different uh, several types of analysis in the same run and focus on the key elements for each of these analysis. So you have a number of options using this graphical user interface to carry out. Now coming to the data correlation panel, it is made up of two independent sub, uh, sub panels, data and correlation. So you can uh, show or hide all these panels in a new sub window. So each panel has different buttons and actions. You can uh, see the result files, the line plot, bar plot, heat map and pi mole visualization and then the summary table and you have a multiple activation button. So this multiple activation button shows or hides all the items that is the line bar, the bar plot, heat map plots and pi mole at the same time. So this is the multiple activation button window where you can see all the plots are available at a single click. So you can show or hide them at the same time. In the options panel, you have two different options, charts options and frames. In the charts option, you have uh, the different plots like line plot, bar plot, heat map plot and visualization. So in this option panel, you can control the different set settings that is the theme and the different formats to save the figures. You can have control over the line width, the line color in the line plot. And in, in case of heat map plot, you can select the colors for the receptors and ligands. And in the pi mole, you can have control over the colors and representations. And in the menu box, you have three different drop down menus that is file, view, and about. You have other panels that is show data. In this show data panel, it shows the sub panel of the data. In the correlation panel, show options and tile sub windows and the cascade sub windows. You also have the help, so where you can get uh, how to carry out the uh, different uh, modules in this MMPBS underscore NR page. The documentation shows the MMPBS homepage. If there are any bugs, you can report them in this report a bug tab where it opens the issue and reports it on the GitHub. 
you have a google group also where you can ask uh, different queries on this group and in the about gmx mmpbsa it shows the mmpbsa citation so that is the end of the video i hope you like the video and before uh, closing the video let us revise the important points discussed in the video that is gmx mmpbsa is a user friendly program written in the python language which is used to calculate the end state free energies and this gmx mmpbsa is compatible with all the latest versions of amber tools that is the most recent release which is amber tools 22 so this program is also compatible with the latest version amber tools 22 and uh, this gromax uh, MMPBSA has three different modules. So the fundamental application which performs all the calculations, the graphical user interface which is used to visualize and analyze the results of the program and then finally the test installation wherein you can see the software has been installed successfully or not. So I hope you like the video. So do not forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. This is Dr. Haimavati signing off. See you in the next one.